welcome back to my channel everyone and let's make some non-greasy curry goat that tastes so good okay so we're gonna start out with some ram goat and we're going to wash this with some water and vinegar then we're going to take off the fat because nobody wants to eat fat after we take off all the fat we're gonna drain the liquid and start to season with our salt our black pepper our all-purpose seasoning the all-purpose seasoning just really boosts the flavor it adds something more than just green seasoning let's add some curry powder and I'm going to use the better pack and if you can find this home choice Indian curry on the market, use it. It really makes your curry taste so much better. Now let's go ahead and chop up some onion, some scallion because scallion and goat just go so good together. Then we are going to work on some garlic garlic adds a deep rich flavor to your proteins and we cannot make curry goat without pimento uh uh it's jamaican curry goat now add some thyme now all of the fresh seasoning that i just cut up i cut up some more and i put it aside for later now let's go ahead and mix this together now please go ahead and comment below and let me know if you use your bare hands or you put on a gloves or you use a spoon to mix your protein with your seasoning because some people say them don't like when your bare hand touch the food but i believe that once the food is not ready to eat you can use your bare hands but once the food is ready to eat you have to use utensils to dish it out you just can't use bare hands to touch people food amen and we're going to let this marinate overnight or at least for four hours all right and then we're going to put it into a pressure cooker pour enough water over it until it covers the goat and make sure you say your pressure cooker lock good we're going to take this over to the stove and pressure for 30 minutes on medium heat Stay pressure for 30 minutes we're going to take it to the sink pour some water over it until you hear the sound then you know say so you, you can open it without an explosion <laughs> so we're going to test to see if it's soft enough and if it's not soft enough just pressure it for another 15 minutes and if it's soft enough pour it into another container and then we're going to cover this with some foil paper and freeze it for like 15 to 20 minutes not until it becomes like ice hard all we want is the fat to float up to the top and just solidify solidify yes I pronounced that right <laughs> and this is where we're going to go in now and just scoop it all off you know you can do this the natural way Jamaicans usually just skim off the fat off at the top but I find with this method you get like 80% or 99% of the fat and if you want you can freeze it again and take off the rest of the fat now in a pot we're going to pour just a little bit of oil and add in some thyme remember this that I said rest it later we're gonna add it in now add some black pepper some salt and just saute that we're basically we're adding some flavor to the pot now some scotch bonnet pepper you can leave this out but you cannot cook curry goat without pepper now we're going to add in two more curry powder better pack curry powder and we're going to toast this and you remember the Indian curry if you have some just add in some too and we're going to go ahead and just move this around just to toast it and get that deep get a deep curry flavor 
and we're going to add some grandma sala my husband is half indian so him always say this is like a secret ingredient mm. <laughs> all right so <laughs> we're going to add some potatoes and carrots to the pot now we usually add carrot and potato to stretch the pot that it can feed enough persons but we find out say it serves a purpose the potato thicken the curry and the carrots add the sweet taste so we add it now not only to stretch the pot but to add flavor and for a purpose so we put in all of the carrot and the potato we add in some more water that this can cook down together and just jam together add some garlic powder because once again garlic just add a deep flavor to your proteins add some crushed ginger this really complements your curry and let this simmer for like 15 to 20 minutes so the meat can just come together like this and we finish off with some fresh scallion because once again scallion and curry go just go good together and here is your non greasy but still delicious curry goat can i get an amen wow yes delicious so if you're someone that cannot take greasy food and you love curry goat this recipe is definitely for you thanks for watching